working out. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Um, I start walking back to my apartment, and I look up. There's this garden. I get this beautiful smell in my the aroma, you know, just kind of took over the air. All right, my friends, hello and welcome back to The Morning Takeaway. Um, this is what this podcast is all about. Um, I got my workout in this morning and I just have these weird, like, takeaways that come to me. Um, you know, where this podcast is something that I hope you take something away. Um, and if you do, please share it. Send it to somebody that you think might resonate with um, the idea or perspective or whatever it may be. But um, somebody asked me the other day, he said, one of my friends, he said, where do you come up with these takeaways? And I said, honestly, they just kind of happen. Um, honestly, it probably comes from the endorphin rush that I get from working out, running, exercising, sweating. Um, but anyways, I want to jump into um, today's little revelation take takeaway that I had. Um, and it basically, it goes to, let me tell the story. So super quick. Um, I get out of my car, I get done working out. It's about eight 30 in the morning. Um, I start walking back to my apartment and I look up, there's this garden. I get this beautiful smell in my, the aroma, you know, just kind of took over the air. And I, uh, the first thing I initially thought was the the old quote, um, wake up and smell the roses. And as I said that and like heard it in my head, I started to think like, what is the purpose of that saying? And there's probably a lot of different ways that you could go with it and, you know, wake up, smell the roses, like get up and get out of bed. Um, but to me, like in that moment, it was very... Um, you could feel the presence. Um, I felt the aroma. I was smelling the flowers and I like, I looked up and there was this big, beautiful garden. And in that moment, my takeaway was, holy crap. Like I am literally experiencing right now what it means to be in the present, um, and really, you know, be at peace with like that specific moment. Um, and I think that a lot of times in life we get, a little too caught up in like, what's the next thing we're going to do? Where are we going to go? What's the next thing we have to do? And like that in itself is the have to word, um, can kind of change the perspective of our day and the direction of our day. Um, and if we can change it to get to, um, but that's a whole nother rabbit hole that I'm going down. Um, but you know, like I said, I think a lot of times in life we get too caught up in what the next obstacle or task or, um, things that we quote unquote have to do. And if we can just like dial it back, take a deep breath and say, Hey, I'm here right now. Be where my feet are, smell the roses, um, and be present. I think our headspace can begin to clear up and the clarity that you can take from that throughout your day, um, it goes a long way because what what happens when you start to, I guess, get caught up in the next thing and the, looking to the future and dwelling on the past? Well, we start to get really stressed out and there's always going to be more time in the day tomorrow. There's always going to be, you have time right now. Um, and if we can be present and take 10 seconds to ourselves to take 10 deep breaths, like be where your feet are, that like I said, the clarity that comes from that, um, and really, you know, kind of clearing up what, where we can go throughout our day. Um, I think that's, that's a huge, um, what's, what's the word for it? Probably, you know, uh, characteristic. I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but it's a advantage. There you go. Um, that we can use for ourselves and it's probably a technique too, you know, um, excuse me. Say, digest my Performix IOA protein smoothie. Um, anyways, so I think it's an advantage that when we start to meditate or find these techniques in life that 
really um, that we really resonate with, um, it, it can go so far. So, you know, this podcast, there's going to be episodes where I go on 15, 20 minute rants. I'll be on in conversations with people for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever. Um, but also it's a way for me to take these little takeaways that I usually put on Instagram and dive a little deeper in. Cause I only get like a minute to ramble on, on Instagram. So, um, with that being said, you know, wake up, smell the roses. Um, and you know, whatever your, your takeaway might be from it. Um, let me know. Um, I want to hear your thoughts, um, as we kind of progress through this podcast, um, on, each topic and your perspective. And I'm totally open to challenging, um, perspectives and beliefs and thoughts. So, um, I think conversation is good and in the world that we live in, we need more of it and to be able to see both sides. Um, I think it's pretty awesome when you actually have an opposing opinion because it creates conversation. It creates an opportunity to learn. Um, and now I'm going down a different rabbit hole, but talk about this stuff all day. So anyways, that's what I got for you today. Wake up, smell the roses, have an awesome day, and don't forget to smile.